Welcome to the shooting show. This week we're rough shooting at the Burt Nagnes estate looking for a bag of mixed game. Pheasant, snipe, woodcock, it's a mixed day and we'll make the most of it. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. The Shilsley signals nearly the end of the season, these two walked up there. Um, do's and don'ts, um, we're not shooting foxes at all. Um, we're not shooting foxes at all. On the on the ground, if 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 anyone wants to shoot a hare, you can do, but it's got to be behind the people's line. Not definitely not in front, because there'll be dogs uh, working and running about. So if it breaks back and goes back between the beaters or yourselves, that's fine. Um, every other uh, every other species uh, comes uh, comes into play. Um, I know. I think I think most of you have uh, have sort of walked up before, but. You know, just be aware of keeping a straight line. Don't shoot when there's somebody's back picking up or uh, anything like that. Um, if you would uh, keep your cartridges, if you will, empty ones, and there's be a bucket in back of here that you can throw them in. Uh, we'll keep the countryside tidy. Um, yeah, just be uh, just be aware of these dogs. That's the main uh, on, on ground. That's the main sort of uh, thing. Uh, other than that. Um, Enjoy your day. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Oh, well done. Straight in water. Small play, Pete. Oh, that you one's... Got your hand, Pete? Yeah. yeah. Well done, Ian. We've got one. That's two, two teal I've got down. Yeah. Here, <laughs> some more for me. Okay, I'll fetch you. Fetch you. Come on, dog. Calm down. 
Look at that. One out. Three Kept going up. Keep the wall. Steady away then, Charlie, if you got started. Just in them dark, dark a bit, Yeah, like I say, I don't think he's put to his problem. I'd have give it a barrel if I could have got near it. He'll be starring shortly. I'm not, I'm running off. Yeah, great start. Uh, all the ponds were iced up, so it was crucial to keep the dogs off the ponds, but the, the drain was running, so all the teal were flying up the drain. So it was a great place to be. Teal after teal, spring after spring. So shot quite a few cartridges there, but managed to down a few teal. Good clean shots, so that's what it's all about. The rest of the line managed to uh, perform out of the and shoot a few pheasants <laughs> and uh, it's, it's uh, carrying on in uh, much the same vein. about to say it's wick with them and I nearly stood on one.
yeah, it was a good return drive. Uh, we stopped and running out at the other end. Just stopped for 11s, had a quick drink. Uh, just brought it back nice and steady. A lot of thick cover in there. Some years it's flooded. This year it was a dryish because it was frozen. But there's a lot of water there, but it was good to walk. Uh, and it's probably the best time we've ever brought that back. Must have shot, I think. 25, 30 birds off there. And a mix of brilliant pheasant oh, and oh, yeah. woodcock, etc. Pheasant, woodcock, snipe, very good mix. Uh, you couldn't get any better than that, really. Hey. The first barrel falls, isn't it? Well, well, I can say, as long as you can sleep on the mountain. <laughs> Do what you want. I can, because I'll eat the doggers. You want to be stood not far off this wood here. Yeah. Because Ron's going to stop it off where that big, there's a big oak in the corner. Yeah. And this wide is out, you see. So, Want three? Oh, Want three guns in here? Yeah. And get them as far round as you can. Okay. Past that, I'll go past that wooden gate, but yeah. well out in foot grass. Yeah. One on the the grass strip, and that's your far. Right. And then we're just going to bring it back. So fetch road. it back this way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ian! Hey! All yours. Right there. Oh, this wrong way. There's two actually. I've got it. That's, That's him. him. He's there. See him? He's he's yeah. he's, he's yeah, weeping. He's down now. There's one another one there going as well. Yeah, it's a great first drive after dinner. Uh, just a little drive. Uh, but when you got five guns, so, uh, the beat is and a walking gun in the wood. Uh, it's the first time this wood's been shot uh, this season. Uh, Ian was to my left, had a great drive, a couple of hares there, four, maybe five pheasants, woodcock, jay. Uh, and then we finished off the little finale on the squirrels that had all the uh, one big oak tree and they'd all taken sanctuary there, which was uh, a big mistake. So we have 50 at lunch and we shot. You've got something in the bag of the hour. 10 then. Take that right. Right, least fire, pretty sad. I've got, I've got enough in the bag now. There's only one driving. Right, seven yeah. kills. Oh, aye, aye, aye. Aye. Make a name for yourselves. Tower, watch it, watch it. That one was near that big ash tree, the bottom of that big ash tree. Yeah, yeah. You carry that one. And the other sunny side, the fact you were looking at the other side. 
Okay, finishing drive of the day. There's never a last one, only a finishing one. Uh, not saying that we're superstitious or anything. So it's glorious uh, finish to the day. Not ideal for uh, driving pheasants, but uh, it's just a good opportunity to, to get a drive on a, on a walked up day. Uh, we've had a couple of little woodcock drives. This is actually a, a game crop, uh, one of the most productive game crops on the estate uh, for a pheasant or two. Although I suspect most of them have gone gone home to the roost wood tonight already. So, but this will be the finishing drive of the day. I'm looking forward to it. Ready, boy. Yeah, no, they were good. Right. Yeah, they were. Yeah, because he kept following Dave down. Yeah, yeah. But he, he, he was. He, he was so uh, end well. of a fantastic day. Walked up and a couple of little uh, woodcock drives there. So we've ended up for five guns with 76 in total. So that's 57 pheasants, three partridges, three woodcock, one pigeon, five teal, three hare, and four various. So that's uh, quite a mixed. Mixed bag again. Wonderful mixed bag for a day like today, that's what you want, a bit of everything. Started off this morning with a lot of teal, again, didn't make a lot of them. Um, I did. But a, mi a mixed bag, a mixed bag, you can't beat, but a bit of everything. Um, nowadays with just blatant pheasants, it's, uh, it gets a bit monotonous, doesn't it? Well, it's just no, it's nice to mix it up a bit, isn't it? Liter Lovely. Literally mix it up a bit. Yeah. And a good bag for five guns as well. No, absolutely. So, what do you think, boys? Excellent day. Fabulous, Yeah, yeah, brilliant. So, yeah, many thanks to Matt and Dave for laying it all on. Well and uh, Charlie. For all the boys the, the, dogging in, beating in. Yeah, and, and, and the beaters, who, whom without, we wouldn't have a day. So. Yeah, only to is that the keeper's wife had a clicker, so shots will be coming, and it might not look as good as it should do. Well, that was a fantastic mixed day at Burton Agnes Estate there. And now, it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. Want to help pick the nation's favourite shooting ground? Don't delay, today is the last day of voting in the annual poll organised by Clay Shooting Magazine. The nation's favourite shooting ground awards are decided entirely by the shooting public, so it's really important that you have your say. You can vote for the best ground overall, best in your region, best for each discipline, and even the ground that does the best breakfast. To vote, just head to the address on screen now. Game meat just keeps on getting more popular. Sales of game meat increased by 5% last year and are now worth £126 million. This bucks the national trend as most people say they're cutting back on meat consumption to save money. A spokesperson for Basque's Taste of Game campaign said people involved in shooting sports can help by spreading the word about the great taste of game. Is the BBC finally giving shooting a fair hearing? The Countryside Alliance said we are beginning to see an improvement in BBC coverage of rural issues and that this is a cause for celebration. But it warned that Chris Packham's continued appearances are a thorn in the side of BBC impartiality and questioned whether Packham's campaigning was being subjected to reviews, as the BBC promised to do two years ago. And finally, with voting about to close in the Great British Shooting Awards, we take a look at one of the categories you can have your say in. This week it's the Gamekeeper of the Year Award. And the nominees are Alex Hogg, Bernard Moss, David Nesfield, Paul Childerley, Scott McKenzie. Which do you think should win the award? Have your say by heading to greatbritishshootingawards.com. Be quick, voting ends on Thursday. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.